world has never known a day quite like today. In the worst case, a massive amount of radioactive material would be spewed into an area 5 to 10 miles in diameter and 20 miles downwind. So if you think of the accident, it caused a tremendous amount of concern and fear. People evacuated. About 1,200 people in all have left their homes from around the plant to go to shelters. My name is Ralph DeSantis. I worked at Three Mile Island for 38 years. I happened to be at Three Mile Island the morning of the uh, TMI-2 accident. President Jimmy Carter came to Three Mile Island and I was part of the contingent that helped to you know, escort him. I was not afraid because we were getting very accurate information from the engineers and technicians. We would then hear and read media reports that were quite different. The nation and much of the world has been watching as this nuclear nightmare unfolds in this plant on the Susquehanna River. If you fly across the country a couple of times, you're getting as much radiation as was released in the Three Mile Island uh, nuclear accident, so, and that, which was the worst accident in the United States. The safety record of nuclear power exceeds that of any other energy source. What we have to do is to call for an end to the nuclear age in its entirety. People who opposed nuclear for reasons which in many cases were based on misinformation about the effect of radiation, for example, and an exaggeration. There have been a very small number of deaths from nuclear accidents or nuclear radiation. But contrast that with fossil fuels, for example. Outdoor air pollution is killing 10,000 people a day. By far the greatest requirement is to phase down fossil fuel emissions. It's hard to see how you could rapidly move off of fossil fuels without a significant role for nuclear power. As a young person and someone who's grown up through a lot of the very obvious impacts of climate change, it's very important to me that we turn around or at very least stop the impacts that we've already done to the planet. My name is Mara Levy and I'm a reactor engineer at Three Mile Island. When people talk about clean energy, the first things that come to mind are wind turbines, hydro plants, and solar farms, which is funny because the largest source of zero carbon energy in the United States is nuclear power. The price of natural gas is at an all-time low, and so it's a lot cheaper to build a natural gas plant than it is to maintain a nuclear operating plant. Also, renewables, such as wind and solar, are often subsidized by states, but they're not subsidizing nuclear. If Three Mile Island was to shut down this fall, it'd be a very, very sad day for me. It's gonna impact not just the people that work there, but think about their family, you know, their immediate, their parents, their loved ones, their friends. It's gonna really 
kind of tear the fabric of the, the community apart. When you think about nuclear power in this country, it is a very safe and reliable source of electricity without producing any carbon to the air that produces climate change. That is a, something that we're all striving for, is to have safe, clean electricity. Nuclear fits the bill, and I think for nuclear power to go away would be a tremendous mistake for the United States and something that we would regret.